What's up, everybody? A walking vlog, discussion 101, April 27th, 2021. A lot of things are controversial. And before I upload the video that I originally intended to upload, I thought it'd be best I make this, um, I guess this prelude, the video before you, the video, if you will. This the video before the video, right? To kind of put out any necessary disclaimers to try to quell as much of confusion and backlash or should I say potential backlash because I'm not that big on YouTube so we're going to label it as potential backlash that I may face for the original video that I the, for the upload for the video I will upload after this you know I mentioned before how these vlogs give me an opportunity to talk to you guys on top of the fact it helps me exercise and gives me time to upload new content uh, to the channel on the daily and uh, helps keep my weight down, you know, all that good stuff. But, um, but let me say this as I walk to my destination. There are, when it comes to a debate of any topic, right, no matter what it is, whether it be race relations, I hate the word race, by the way, I'd rather say ethnicity, ethnicity, ethnic or cultural relations, I'd rather put it like that, I think that's a more accurate term, um, whether it be opinions on food, um, or any type of situation where, you know, information is going to be put to the test and, and challenged. You have people who are going to defend their points with logic. And then you have the ones that are going to defend it with emotion. And I'm not giving any credit to the ones who kind of get emotional with their logic and they kind of defend their points with that because I don't like when people straddle the fence or they try to keep themselves middle. No, it's one or the other. You can either defend yourself with logic or you can defend yourself with emotions. And as we know, emotions are very fickle. So the way you feel in today towards a certain situation or person or whatever, you, you, you could, it, it's a very... You know, it's a hundred percent of the time you're not gonna feel the same way about it by by the next day, the next couple of days, or by next week. Cause the energy that you hold towards that particular situation, it's gonna dwindle. And when that dwindles, so will your emotions towards that. You know. You might wake up one day and say, man, I'm going to kill such and such. I'm going to kill this person. I'm going to kill them because of what they did. And then the next day, you're like, you know what, man? I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to let God handle it or whatever the case may be. You know what I mean? It's, it's been plenty of people that didn't did that. You know? And in the rare cases, you know, you got people that, that's, that they just stay on that type of time because it might be a serious situation that they can't overlook. But at the same time, it's like you have people who just know that they cannot defend certain things logically. So they try to get all loud or overly emotional. And that kind of lets you know that somebody doesn't know what the hell they're talking about or they aren't versed in debating and their vocabulary aren't isn't extensive so they come off looking like a dummy 
you know, it's one of them situations. I think this girl car just died. Well, I think she, she, she probably, it looked like she just pulled over. But, uh, yeah, she just pulled over. All right. Thought I was going to have to go over there and, like, ask her if she needed help. But even with that, you know, it's hard to be a nice person these days. It's, it's not hard to be a nice person, but this world from social media to news media and people who think that they're smart, you know, the blind leading the blind, they go online and they try to start these movements because they may be just charismatic like that and get people involved in some nonsense that they have no business getting them involved in or they, they not or the cause isn't as righteous as they try to make themselves out to be. So you got a lot of females who think that the world is after them when really we're not. Like, for example, that girl who just pulled over and I thought that she had, um, you know, her car died. The way this world works and the maturity level of this world, if I would have went over there and asked her how she felt, she probably thought I was trying to do something to her. She would have probably thought I was trying to, and it's sad that I got to think like that, but that's a possibility. But back on subject, it's people that's going to defend things based on emotion, and it's people that's gonna defend things based on logic. And the ones that's defending it based on emotion, they either completely do not know what the hell they're talking about, or their vocabulary isn't extensive to properly explain things so that they can get their point across accurately. So the video that I recorded, it was about Makaya Bryant. Now, for those of you who don't know, this is a 16 year old girl. I forgot what city it was in, but basically the 16 year old girl in the video from the police body cam, she was getting ready to stab uh, several other people in the video. And when I say several, I just mean like a couple other ones, you know, that's just a, but I know some people don't understand what several means. You know, it means more than, basically more than one, or like a group, um, or a lot. Uh, but the video showed two other girls that Micaiah was fighting for whatever reason. And I got a call, and I didn't do it in the video, because I didn't notice it until I got on my Instagram. But grassroots law is, if some of y'all know about grassroots law, it is a nonprofit organization that uh, gets help with police brutality cases. And, um, you know, they've been known to be pretty good. However, in this one instance, bro, they, they are completely being ignorant to some, to some vital information. And it's like they're trying to push this idea that this girl was, you know, killed senselessly. Now, I'm not saying the girl should have got killed. It's a piece of me that wants to say that the girl shouldn't have got killed, obviously. You know, maybe you could have used a taser or maybe, you know, or whatever the case may be. And I go more into the actual video that I'm, that I'm going to upload after this. Just because, a, like, we got to analyze certain, like, everything. And this is coming from somebody who has seen every police brutality case and read on every police brutality case from all going all the way back to Emmett Hill. Hell, we can even go back to the down slave plantations, but in, in modern society, right? I'm talking about people walking upright and basically from the time of Emmett Hill all the way up until now. There's been a silver lining of unnecessary force being used against black folks, browns, uh, Mexican folks, Latino folks. Um, and in recent lights, in recent light, you know, very few Asians that uh, that have been reported to have been 
you know what I'm saying, and properly uh, who, who've been victims of police brutality. That's not advertising much at all. Uh, it's just really want to know what the fuck situation. And, um, yeah, it's just one of those things that you have to be willing to accept that maybe the officer wasn't in the wrong this time. And I pretty much, like, I say that very because I know the maturity level, because I know the maturity level that we're dealing with these days. It's really just, hold up. Sorry about that. I had to cross the street. And, uh, but nevertheless, um, but yeah, it was a case where Makai Bryant, the police officer, wasn't in the wrong. And, you know, just because the use of deadly force was, it was necessary at this time. Mind you, y'all got to understand, not every situation, even though in the past we, we, we didn't dealt with this, you know what I'm saying, not every situation can call for a taser to be used. And as much as it hurt me to say that, You know what I mean? As much as it hurts me to say that, we gotta be honest about when, when certain things need to happen. So we gotta analyze things. So I'm trying to cross the street here, but it's like everybody trying to go to the left lane. Man. I had a chance earlier. Man, I hate this mid-morning traffic, I swear. <laughs> Imagine the day when somebody walking and they say they hate mid-morning traffic. It was like, even now, why everybody want to turn left and come into the, you know what I'm saying, damn, hurry up. And everybody's driving slow too. My like, God damn, bro. If there's one thing about the Bay Area that I do not like, old people drive slow as shit, bro. I thought Louisiana had a slow drivers, bro. <laughs> old people in the Bay Area got them beat hands down. Boy, they drive super, super slow. I'm talking about two miles an hour slow. And they make unnecessary turns. That's where it just don't make sense. But yeah. Um... But yeah, it's a situation when um, a girl like Makaya was trying to stab, you know, two other people. You know, you don't really have time. I don't want to say you don't have time to tase anybody, but at the same time, you can't expect a taser to be used in the heat of the moment. Because a taser doesn't always stop. So you have a choice between a... Uh, a device that could possibly stop them versus a device that, well, a, a firearm that's, that will stop them. And considering other lives are at risk, you know what I'm saying? Like, we can't be mad, bro. Not this time. And like I said in the video that I'm going to upload after this, if we're going to maintain the integrity of calling out police brutality when it's necessary to call it out, then we got to call a spade a spade this time. This little girl was in the wrong. I don't know what she was going through to make her act like that. But, you know what I'm saying? She did it at... 
but she's the one that fought here. Like, she the one who had the knife. She was getting ready to stab two other people. One girl had a dog hold. It was, it was a girl in pink, and it was another girl that fell down in the video. And she was trying to stab both of them for whatever reason. And somebody tried to say from grassroots law, they said it has something to do with um, uh, some sports game and they were trying to flip cars over. This happened in a neighborhood. In the, in the picture that y'all put up was like at night and you know what I mean? It's like, it's painting a false narrative, bro. Something, something ain't right bro, with that. You know what I mean? It's, come on, bro. Like we gotta be honest here. But I'm gonna upload this video. Like I said, this is a prelude to the actual video where I go more in depth. But it gotta be, you know, like we gotta be honest here, man. With logic, not by our emotions. And we gotta say, you know what? As, as much as we may wanna be, like we really can't be mad this time around. I mean, there's an argument to be had. Like, there's an argument to be had, of course. The argument being, you know, um, there have been times when, you know, police officers have had guns pointed at them by white uh, people. I mean, directly pointed at them. There's a video online right now of an old man in the park from like a few years ago pointed a gun at police officers and they still managed to, you know what I'm saying, tase them and arrest them alive. You, you know what I'm saying? So when I see that, it's like, y'all you know, could have used a taser. But at a time when, you know, deadly force is necessary, that was a time to use it. And it's unfortunately that it had to be used on a 16 year old black girl, knowing that the climate that we're in. But at the same time, we can't be mad at this one, man. We can't. We have to maintain the integrity of, you know what I'm saying? There was people cheering the girl on in the video to stab the other two girls. It's like, bro, come on. You can't be mad at this situation. No matter how much we wanna be, we just can't. We gotta be honest with ourselves here. And sometimes that honesty is gonna, is gonna make us, you know, blame the proper parties. And if the proper parties just so happen to be a 16-year-old girl with a knife that was trying to stab two other people, then, bro, we got to put the blame on her. And it hurt me to say that, but honesty hurts, bro. And I try to stay away from topics like this because I know how sensitive people are, which is the reason why I gave the whole disclaimer in, the, in, in early on. We literally got to do better, bro. Like, we literally have to do better. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Um, I'll upload the other video uh, later on tonight when I'm off work. Or if I can get away with it, I'll upload it while I'm at work. But I want to give people time to see this one before I upload that one. So with that being said, man, thank you guys for watching. Peace. And uh, remember, be humble in victory. Be gracious in defeat. But show no mercy in battle. World Warriors Collector.